What's up everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today's royal headline. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry spark fund in row as royal commentators question their income. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry stepped down as senior royals in March and have since moved to LA with their son Archie Harrison. But since the release of their unofficial biography Finding Freedom, which quotes their inner circle, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have received criticism from royal commentators who have said they should not receive any public funds despite the couple insisting they will be privately funded. Commentator Tom Harwood explained, It is extraordinary that the couple still get any funding from the public. His claims come despite the fact that the Sussexes have said on their website they are now financially independent. Mr. Harwood said, I find it extraordinary that they're still getting any money from the British taxpayer at all. They have severed ties with the royal family. They've stopped doing public duties, which is what they get money for in the first place. They even abandoned any sort of Commonwealth country. Any country where the crown holds some sort of significance to skip off to California. Fine, if they want to be private citizens, they can be private citizens, but they should not rescind their title. Stop taking taxpayer money and they should go live like the Hollywood celebrities they so desperately and clearly want to live like. Economist Grace Blakely added, I like them from what I've seen of them, but I find it astonishing that only Harry and Meghan are still receiving public funds, but that we have a royal family that is paid for with public funds at all. That is a relic of the past. Host Dan Wooten asked, Get rid of the Queen after nine decades of service? Is that what you're saying? Mr. Blakely continued, There are people starving and dealing with all sorts of desperate issues. Why are we still spending money on the Queen? I'm sure the Queen has enough assets to survive. It comes as Meghan's estranged father has reportedly said he is disillusioned by the woman she has become. Thomas Markle also responded to a new book about Meghan and Harry by criticizing the timing of its publication, saying it comes across as a collection of complaints at a time when thousands of people are dying from COVID-19. Speaking to the son, Mr. Markle said, I love my daughter, but I really don't appreciate what she's become right now. Finding Freedom also details the drama leading up to Meghan's wedding to Harry. When it was revealed that Mr. Markle was paid for helping to set up paparazzi photos of himself near his Mexico home. Mr. Markle responded by saying his daughter was not above colluding with the media in the same way that she had arranged paparazzi shots while acting in TV drama suits before she ever met Harry. Yeah, two rights don't make a wrong, guys, but you know, who knows what's going on. Thank you for watching today's installment. I hope you enjoyed the content on the royal family. And as per usual, please don't leave the channel without giving us a like, leaving us a comment, and subscribing for more. Hit the bell icon for the latest updates, and tune in tomorrow for the latest news. Goodbye for now.